I'd like to tell you a little bit about what's in these two tank bags. They were both made for overnight and longer trips. Uh, they sit on a shelf in the garage until a trip comes and then they go on the bike. Um, and they're preloaded with stuff specific. This one has got stuff specific to an R80 GS in 1981 and it was used for about 10 or 15 years with that bike. This one's got stuff specific to the bike I'm currently using for traveling, an R1200R, uh, and it's got stuff that is uh, intended for use with the camping and the traveling with the R1200R. And I think I want to start with the one that's currently in use. There is, there's some pieces that are missing from this one because it hasn't been in use for a long time. Um, but let's start with this one. Right. Starting out with this tank bag, I like, I'm only five foot eight inches tall and I like a, a shorter tank bag that you can sort of climb around on the bike if you're in twisty roads. Uh, and the radar detector is obvious. Uh, this is easy to change for an iPhone, although on this bike there's an iPhone mount on the handlebars. Um, so this usually is just a radar detector. In the, this particular tank bag design, we, we've added a, a set of little loops so that I can keep the cords when I'm buying gas and whenever I stop, these cords uh, and speakers go here, or if I'm going through a toll bridge, sometimes I'll stick the slip from the toll or, some, or my gloves sometimes will go under here. Um, that's this, this, adding an ability to have a cord across the map window uh, is very helpful. On the right hand side of the pocket that's built in, that's part of this tank bag's design, there's a small flashlight and it's on a, a, a cord so it, it actually can go a little bit farther than this. Uh, this is the sunglasses, this is the cord, um, and uh, it's useful for reading the map at night or for irritating people in cars that you pass, uh, and it just sits in here. Let's see this. Let's see this. This is the, the my sunglasses, uh, and then this is this sort of general utility light that sits here. And then on the on the left side is a grease pencil, which uh, to me works better than a highlighter. And you can circle some place that you want, or write down a license number and rub it off. And all of my tank bags have always had a clipped on grease pencil somewhere that I can reach while I'm in motion. This particular tank bag design I like because the, um, it has a nice place for a hat. Uh, so every time I take my helmet off because I don't have a big head of hair anymore, um, I like to put on a hat, it's, it's right there. Um, now we're going to open up the inside and see what's in there. So this is, this is now what's in this tank bag. Toward the back of the tank bag uh, are things that I might want to reach more quickly. The primary thing is a headlight at night uh, to have a headlamp. There's also here a uh, second, uh, this is an old 35 millimeter film can. It has a spare tail light bulb and a couple of extra earplugs for this bike. Um, this is a pepper spray device. If things look sketchy, we, uh, you can, um, as you can see, it's not exactly quick draw, but it's, it's, it's a handy, to, and then the bottom of this is a couple more earplugs, uh, sp spare um, earplugs, three or four sets of those. So, um, I am ready for wild animals or whatever with that. Um, there's also near the back edge of this, which is easy to get to, is a face shield cleaning kit. Um, I don't know the Aristich product number, but it has um, two different things of, uh, this is like a, a wax, protect all and this is just Windex and this is a microfiber cloth so I can play with my face shield. Um, what else is near the back and easy to get to? Let's see what this is. Ah, batteries. 
Various things on the bike need batteries, button batteries run, um, digital uh, ambient temperature thermometer on the handlebars of the bike, and uh, I, th I think the double A's run something else. And there's room in this bag for quite a few more batteries than just these. Um, this yellow bag is an old Chase Harper side zip bag, and uh, this is sort of the miscellaneous junk drawer. Uh, it has all kinds of odds and ends that might be useful. This is a pretty big small roll of duct tape. These are cut up slices of an inner tube which are handy for binding things together. Uh, this is a bulb. I think it might be an instrument light bulb. It's been such a long time since I've needed it. I don't. This is a glue stick, and with a cigarette lighter, you can use this hot melt glue to patch any number of things. A replacement for a, a bungee, a side release buckle, um, a spare strap for a combat tuning boot, more pieces of inner tube, another side release buckle, a piece of wire. A different kind of side release buckle, um, more inner tubes, that's double sided velcro, you can wrap stuff, a spare piece of wire with a, a mullet, a tiny little Phillips screwdriver, more inner tube, let's just dump it on, I guess. So you've got electrical connectors and fuses and a binder clip and just odd stuff that you can use to improvise or possibly fix something on the road. Uh, or, so it's just spare little odds and ends. And there isn't a ton of logic to how this got assembled. A few things from experience like the duct tape, the inner tube strips, and the hot melt glue stick are very good uh, things, and a little piece of spare wire. Um, I guess it just is what it is. We sell some of these items, and some you would just make yourself. Another thing right up near the top is a bag full of uh, things to play with your electrical stuff. There's a for, there's some audio equipment on the handlebars of this bike, and so we've got a couple of uh, spare uh, cords. This one's uh, two 3.5 males. This one's a, a male to female. This is just a straight cord. Uh, it's an antenna for a weather radio. It just ends. This one is a, an, I guess, a, 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 this is another one of these, but without the coil. This is, there's, I use Molex connectors, so this is a way to plug into one of the Molex connectors on the bike and have two, it's like a, it doubles the out, output of the, it's a homemade, homemade little piece. And um, these are different pieces for my earplug speakers. Foam things and, and uh, silicone mushrooms to fit on the ear speakers. If you're traveling and you lose if you lose one of these when you're traveling, you, they're not sometimes easy to get, and they do they come off. So this is spare parts for the, the ear speakers. Again, sort of a random collection without a ton of science to it, but it's it's it makes you feel better to know that if you lose a, a wire or an ear speaker or something, you have parts to fix that if you're on a trip somewhere. This one is another one of these Chase Harper zippered bags, but anything will do. And this has more little knick-knack odds and ends. Look, more, more earplugs. This thing is an adapter for a, an old USB adapter that fits on an SAE connector, so you could, and, and the Molex that I use there. If the cruise control that I have on my bike breaks, 
or I'm riding with somebody whose cruise control breaks. This is a uh, cruise control device. Um, a little compass, some double stick Velcro. I think this is just aspirin. Um, this is a key for something. Uh, it's not, maybe a, maybe a, something that locks. This is another uh, cruise control, a little bit less expensive kind. Some money. Very fancy uh, lighter that can melt each drink or, or whatever. This is a, this is a sunblock stick. This is a space pen. This is a Leatherman. This is a tire gauge. This is a uh, can uh, old fashioned military can opener. This is a, a for a, a lock that I carry, a key for a lock that I carry, and a couple of quarters and dimes. And so that's all of this stuff is in here, which is pretty self-explanatory. I, I don't know what else to exactly say, but it's just odds and ends. This is also near the front. This is a uh, folding knife, very useful for cutting salami or some roadside food that you've bought along the way. This would normally be right at the back end of this, next to the light. This is a AeroStitch uh, quick release uh, luggage strap. And usually there's a, a bedroll dry bag on the back of the bike strapped on with two of these, and this would be a spare for that, in case one of them broke or you lost one. Uh, we're getting now into, this is a weather radio, and this can be mounted here, or it's also an AM FM radio, and it can be mounted here or on the handlebars. This is a spare set of earplug speakers uh, that I can uh, use if the, main ones get lost or if I just want to go for a walk and have speakers for this. This is the antenna for this if you need an antenna and a couple of more uh, adapters so two people can listen to the radio at the same time. Uh, it's, this is, that's all this is. It's a little radio. Instead of a, Satellite radio, or it's, it's great to know the weather. If you're not, if you're out of range of a smartphone, chances are you will still be able to get weather information from this weather radio. Um, let's see, more stuff. Uh, this is a uh, pooping trowel. It has a little bit of toilet paper in it. And uh, it, it's just a, in case you need, to, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you want to uh, relieve yourself, that's that. This is a uh, very lightweight windbreaker and it's, it's waterproof. It has, I have a pair of a baklava, a baklava in here for it's cold. An empty plastic bag. Everybody needs an empty plastic bag. And this is a, uh, it breaks. It breaks the wind. It's also good for rain. And they sell these uh, in a lot of different places: bicycle shops, outdoor stores, travel stores. Uh, we used to sell this one. We don't sell this anymore. We do have an Aerostitch made one that's nearly as light, but I don't think it has a self-store bag. But this is a good windbreaker for when it's cold. You uh, would wear this add this and it would keep a lot of heat in, disproportionate amount compared to its weight. Um, along the same lines, this is a silk scarf, which some trips I'll wear it every day and other trips it'll get wetted on hot weather and, uh, or worn on cold weather. This is a lock, if I need to lock uh, my uh, helmet or riding suit, it's not much of a powerful lock but it's a lock, and this would be toward the back end of this with the knife and the flashlight. And let's see, this is also, this, this would also be near the back, uh, sort of redundant. This is bear spray, this is another one of these pepper spray deals. 
These are, this is a pair of triple digit ring glove covers, which is usually up at the top and easy to reach. This is an electrical multimeter, which is very handy if you have something that doesn't seem right and you know how to use one of these. Uh, I have solved lots of problems over the years by being able to just basically do continuity testing with this thing. Uh, this is a piece that also would be near the back end of this thing. This is a bottle with, which contains uh, a whole mixture of different kinds of aspirins. It contains regular aspirin, Advil, um, Tylenol. You just get to it's, you just get to recognize the different stuff uh, by so if you have a, a headache uh, and you want to keep going, there's something that you can or muscle ache, whatever. This is something young riders probably don't do anything with. Now we're getting into the front section of this, which is the stuff rarely used. This is a small flask with scotch. It's very nice if you're done riding for the day. Um, a deck of cards, again, if you're done riding for the day. This is a travel umbrella. If it's raining when you stop, it's very nice to have an umbrella. This is a rain cover for this bag that, that basically uh, keeps everything dry in the rain. And way up in the front is a first aid kit, which and I think that is everything. I think that's everything. This is the interior shot of the aluminum frame piece. I don't know if you can see in there that I made to stabilize the uh, RAM monitor detector. And uh, that's it. That's everything.